Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review is brought to you in part by Rogers Hobby Center in Saginaw, Michigan, where the fun begins. This review covers the Milk Trike MPC number 895. Now in the Trick Trike series, the custom trikes are featured from the late 60s and 70s by Ed Roth and others, and some of them that are just copies. Uh, but this tricked out trike has a tufted custom seat, optional ice cream scoop lanterns, pad printed slicks, and a 327 cubic inch V8 for power. Now the milk trike originally debuted around 1971 as the T-trike, and it was reddish orange on the box. Then in 2005 they came out with a purple one, and that's what this one emulates. It's almost an exact copy of the 05 version released in 2020. Now the AMT uh, MPC kit has um, 57 pieces and it's a skill level 2. There are some fine finicky parts for um, probably the intermediate builder and the uh, pieces are molded in white, clear, translucent orange, translucent purple, chrome and black uh, vinyl tires and it comes with a great looking decal sheet with some new items. The dimensions when you're done are 7 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 2 and a half inches high. Oh, that sounds like Newt back there. Uh, he's got a question. What, what's your question, Newt? He's our uh, program director. You said it was first called the T-Trike, but what does that mean? Oh, that's a good question, Newt. Um, you see, the T uh, comes from the Model T, which the cab on this uh, trike uh, emulates. It looks a lot like one of the early Model T uh, cabs uh, that came on the cars back then. Is that supposed to be milk splashing around near the rear tires? Uh, I, I'm gonna have to say yeah, it, it's probably uh, splashing milk around the rim there of, of the tires. And uh, why uh, MPC did that, I got nothing. I, I don't know why they did that. Here are the parts for the kit. As you can see, uh, the decal sheet is very colorful. Uh, and the parts are pretty clean. Uh, MPC did a good job of cleaning these up. And, uh, of course, the slicks there with the uh, you know, milk splash on one side and plain on the other side, along with a metal axle and uh, a skinny for the front end. We'll be using some uh, slow setting glue for some of the parts that need to be adjusted while they set and dry, and sometimes super glue for fragile parts, and white glue or crystal clear for the uh, translucent and clear parts. Remember to um, heed the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines when using any of the products you see or hear in the review. Here's a close-up of that great-looking decal sheet. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do with these. Um, they don't uh, all fit on this model, so a lot of great-looking uh, decals for your stash, too. Construction begins with the body, which also includes part of the uh, tube uh, frame there. And on the neck you can see there's a little flash, so just use a hobby knife to clean that up. Now, there's also uh, on the uh, uh, interior side of the left side body half, uh, the uh, logo uh, for the copyright script. And, and you can, um, you know, just cover that up with paint. It'll, it'll paint right over. And now we're going to assemble the two body halves, um, the 76 and 7. And then uh, you might want to use also a, a little bit of uh, strip stock there at the um, roof on the underside to, to give it a little strength, uh, but if that's not always necessary. Now after I got the body halves together, um, I used a little flat uh, aircraft gray, and then uh, the glued seams then get uh, wet sanded after it's dry, and then the body assembly is reprimed if needed, and, and you repeat this until you get a good... Uh, a good finish. Um, a little basic putty can be applied uh, to any of the big glue seams and then uh, smoothed over with some sandpaper. Now the body assembly when you're done and it looks good and you're happy with the seam uh, got painted in this case a dark aircraft gray uh, primer and then a choice of uh, the color coat was uh, uh, Tester's Extreme Lacquer Purplicious. Now after the paint has dried, um, you can go ahead and insert the uh, rear window in the back of the cab. Now, you get your choice. You get orange clear or a purple, and uh, I chose the uh, purple lens here to put into the back of the cab with some uh, crystal clear uh, cement. Uh, you can also use some white glue, 
Uh, and if you get any on the window, just wipe it off. And now get the uh, seat and the uh, pedals and the assembly out of the kit there and uh, clean up any of the attachment points and uh, scrape off any of the plating where you're going to glue those pieces to. Um, I painted the uh, frame around the seat flat black as well as the floor and the seat uh, itself is a semi-gloss black. So um, you can go ahead and after those uh, dry uh, you can add the uh, shifter and the pedals and the uh, pedal assembly. Get the parts out for the uh, front wheel and uh, that involves of course uh, removing some of that chrome plating from where you're going to uh, glue the halves to the uh, tire end or the other uh, side and they'll be offset. Uh, <clears throat> that's how the spokes are arranged and go ahead and uh, glue those together and you can uh, slip the uh, tire over the t uh, over the rim uh, once it's good and dry. Now gather up the parts for the uh, rear slicks and uh, the rim halves of course and the uh, uh, that's the inside and the outside and the tires. And um, the rear rim assembly gets snapped into a, a rear tire on both sides. And then you can uh, do this for the other side and then uh, go ahead and glue uh, the, uh, the mag half there off of the into the front side. And make sure that uh, you, you cr uh, take any chrome plating away where it's going to glue. Uh, the wheel backs were painted black, uh, semi-gloss black. And for this uh, build, I used the uh, spilled milk side, but you could actually just turn it around and have the race master slicks on the other side. Now we'll get the uh, dashboard out, and uh, I painted that a semi gloss black, and it was detailed with some flat black for the gauge faces, and then installed into the body. You'll need these parts next to uh, work on the engine, so glue the uh, left and right engine halves together. And then both cylinder head 61 are attached to the top of the engine there on each side. And the engine assembly got painted uh, a Chevy engine red. And the oil pan number 214 gets glued to the uh, engine assembly. And uh, once again, scrape that plating. Also, you'll have to scrape any paint off of the parts where you're gluing them together. Next, we'll be using the uh, top end of the engine parts and the canister there that goes in the uh, right rear. And we're going to go ahead and assemble those uh, by putting the um, intake onto the engine and then attaching the um, uh, valve covers. Uh, they're pretty nice looking. Uh, and we'll be then adding also the uh, that large canister to the right rear section. Remember, scrape off that chrome. Test fit your engine to the frame and look for the mounting points there and then scrape off the paint so that you can glue the um, block into position on the frame. And next we'll take and uh, get the fork assembly assembled and uh, if there are any minor bends or um, twists in there just to gently uh, put those back into position. And then uh, go ahead and assemble the forks uh, removing any chrome plating where you're going to glue the pieces together. And now you can slip the uh, fork assembly and uh, the tire, uh, which is uh, just uh, popped into position there in the front end, uh, onto the frame uh, on the neck there where it uh, just collapses, uh, clasps over the um, uh, fork. And then you can uh, glue the edges of that portion in order to uh, lock it into position or, or glue it entirely and uh, so that they won't turn. We'll work on the uh, front headlight assembly here, one of the ice cream scoops, and we're going to paint that bracket silver and let that dry. And I chose uh, the purple again uh, for the lens. Now go ahead and assemble the um, the headlight bracket, and then uh, put the um, uh, the lens into position using some uh, some of that uh, white glue or crystal clear glue. Attach the bracket to the uh, fork assembly uh, there, in in between the um, the struts and uh, go ahead and add the uh, headlight lamp assembly uh, to that. Now we can put the uh, differential together and just clean up any attachment points or flash there. And I decided to leave it chrome, uh, which will give you a seam line. Uh, you either live with it or you um, put the thing together, uh, clean up the seam and either paint it black or, uh, or chrome it uh, with some chrome paint. But um, now we're going to assemble that and then the metal axle gets installed to make sure it will go through the differential assembly and just to keep the, the halves lined up properly you can just leave it there and then the whole thing gets attached uh, to the body assembly. With the uh, axle still in place 
you can go ahead and press the rear tires onto the axles. Uh, just squeeze those together at, on each end. And now the rear lamp assembly can be assembled. Um, just clean up any flash and it goes together the same way as the front uh, lamp does. And then attach that uh, to the left or if you want it on the right, you, you would have to drill another hole on the other side for that. Um, because sometimes people like to cover these uh, left sides up with uh, one of the large decals. So get out the headers, uh, pipes, and uh, clean those up. And we're going to, of course, uh, scrape the uh, plating off where they attach to the uh, side of the engine. And we'll have to scrape the paint off of that portion, too, where they go together. So go ahead and uh, glue the headers to uh, each side of the engine now. Uh, now we're going to work on the injector stacks and cut those carefully off of the tree and clean up any attachment points. And um, uh, I, I recommend using the instructions uh, uh, guidelines there by uh, using a toothpick to put the glue in uh, the um, you know rearmost uh, hole there and then go ahead and glue the injector stacks into position. And I used uh, a long pair of tweezers to handle those and put them into place. And then uh, try to make sure to uh, line them up so that they're all uh, symmetrical. Now you can add your decals to the body. Um, I made it pretty simple. Uh, the milk truck insignia there. Uh, but you can adorn it in any fashion you like with that great uh, sheet of decals. The body's flat basically so you shouldn't need any setting solutions for it. And so there you have it. Your model is done. And it's a real nice looking little model. Uh, really unusual with a V8 uh, for power and those crazy looking uh, milk covered slicks. So if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. We hope you liked this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon in the lower right hand of any of our reviews. Or you can find us on Facebook or our website right on replicas.com. Thanks.